Alright guys, this is the YD2S Plus from Yokomo. My name is Jeff from 7demo7 7 7, and we're going to go through this kit today uh, bag by bag, part by part, just so that you guys know what is included in this kit and we'll be doing a build up video coming up pretty soon so stay tuned for that. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my local drift track which is called GGT. It's in Garden Grove, California. You can find them on Facebook, on Instagram and also just hashtag GGT on Facebook is a great way to get a hold of them. Um, they supply me with pretty much all my Yokomo parts and uh, they do a great job. Now they don't have an online store but you can actually contact them through Messenger uh, for any type of Yokomo parts that they have, uh, especially locally here in Southern California. Um, if you guys can't get to GGT or you're not in so local SoCal, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. Well, okay guys, let's get right into this. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So if you guys don't know, the YD2S Plus is the latest and greatest drift car from Yokomo. It is their latest iteration of the best technology going forward here. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go through this kit step by step. So you guys can know what are the new parts and what are the differences between this kit and a standard YD2. So let's just get right into it here with bag number one. So what I'm going to do is just slide the box out of the way here. We'll leave that right there and we'll just take a look at bag one. We're going to unbag everything and just kind of give you guys a look at all the different parts here. This looks like the chassis rails and a few other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep each bag off to the side here. So yes, uh, this is the chassis rails for the sides of the chassis and these are quite rigid. This is the front, front bulkhead here, the top of the front bulkhead, the, the side plates here and it looks like these are the um, AR mounts that go in the front most likely. So this is if for you those of you that are familiar with the YD2, this is going to look pretty standard for you. A few other things here. Looks like one thing came off the tree right here. Um, this is part of the battery mounting system. So this is all new. This is your battery brace in the back. Or this is actually your. Um, this looks like the uh, yeah. This looks like the battery brace. It's either the battery brace or the uh, transmission brace. So this is all new for the new S version. And these two little caps here, I believe these go underneath the front bulkhead, actually, the very the rear mounted portions of the front bulkhead. So we'll keep all these things together and we'll move on to the next bag. That was bag one. Okay, guys, so this is actually another bag one, which is really strange. Uh, but so this tree here has some of your AR mounting blocks for the rear, your servo mount, uh, your hexes, some of the suspension parts that you're not going to use because this kit comes with the big bore shocks as well and some mounting screws as well so this is like i said is also bag number one which is a little weird but <laughs> we'll just keep going so this is your bag of tools for the car this is the camber adjustment wheel nut remover here and uh, also a couple of allen keys so that's a really nice that they include this and all right guys in this large bag here is all of these bags which is bag two through bag nine we're just gonna go through each one individually and here we go Okay guys, here we have bag two. We're just gonna slide this out and we'll see what, everything that's in here. Um, this is the steering rack for the YD2S. It's gonna be the same exact as the YD2. And I apologize if there's some noise in the background. Uh, we have an automotive garage downstairs. These are all of your adjustable linkages for your suspension and everything. And these are the bearings that go along with the steering kit. So we'll put these aside. And they always give you a large array of ball ends here so you can set up your car however you want. Okay guys, on to bag three here. This is the differential. This, this is very similar to the YD2 where they have a little bag of grease so you can grease the parts that are necessary. This is the 10,000 weight oil that they recommend for the inside of the transmission. I know that guys use different setups. Some people don't run any oil. Some people use different uh, weights of oil and some people lock out their differentials. So. And speaking of the differential here, I already opened this bag, but there is a difference here uh, to this differential here. You can see that it's already built in the YD2 kit. Uh, this was not already pre-built. So it looks like we're gonna pull these, this part and just add the oil in and then put everything back together. But if you can see those little recesses where I have my fingers right here, those are not present on the standard YD2. So that's new. Pretty cool. Okay guys, on to bag number four. Now this is all your internal transmission parts, your idler gears and everything here. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take this out of the bag here. This is pretty standard. Your full bearing kit for the inside of the transmission. Your spur gear and spur gear holder. This is the vertical 
motor mount. Now this is the big difference between the YD2 and the YD2S. Um, this has, uh, instead of the motor being down here, as the motor is actually up top, it allows you to have some weight shift with the motor and you can actually shift this position from here to here to here. There's like three or four different uh, mounting positions. So we have all the screws here and also your pinion, which is really nice to give you a pinion. Okay guys, onward to bag number five. Now I'm not gonna open this one up because I'm probably not gonna use it. This has the servo saver, which um, I don't know of one person that I drift with that uses a servo saver. So we're just gonna put this one aside. And guys, this is bag number six. And I did not realize that this part was gonna be aluminum with just this North Standard Early plastic in the original kit. And look at this shock tower. Look at the chamfered edges really really nice this gives you almost twice the amount of mounting positions on the shock tower here it's also going to be much stiffer so you're not going to get any flex through the tower as your car goes through its suspension so this is really nice now when we get to the rear one i'll show you that in just a little bit but there's something really special with the rear one really awesome that this came like, like this i didn't realize that so these are all the the suspension mounting uh, pieces here the mounting hardware to mount the shock tower into the bulkhead and some more mounting hardware here. So we'll keep all this together. All right, guys, moving right along. We're going quick here. This is bag number seven. This is the front A arms, it looks like. Yes, we have front A arms and the spacers that go along with it that allows you to do some adjustment. The shocks mount right into these holes right here. So we'll put that down here. Here's the upper A arm assembly and the spacers that go along with that. This is the same as the YD2, both of these parts here. And these are the shafts that you mount uh, through there, there to make them pivot and everything. Um, more ball links. And also, it looks like these are the, the stoppers. Uh, and these are new stoppers uh, for um, this year. They're slightly thicker and they're pre-made. Bag number eight. Let's take a look at this. And this looks like your knuckles, your steering knuckles. Yes, the, these are the stick, steering knuckles. Now the difference here is these are already outside of the package. They're not attached to a tree, so they're saving a little bit of space there. I don't know if these are different or not. Now these are the rear ones I can see here. Um, these are your um, drive shafts here. And the front um, axles. Bearings for all of those. And here's the front knuckles the, that's going to give you all your steering. Now this is a, identical to the YD2S. You can upgrade these to metal if you wish. I haven't done that yet. And excuse me, I think these are the steering uh, linkage stoppers there. So um, I was wrong on that other little piece there. And just your wheel nuts to keep your wheels on here and your steering ball links as well. And here is the last part, uh, number nine, before we go on to the other bags here. Just going to go ahead and show you what these are. These are the rear A-arms. And it looks like these are, I was wondering if these were like the EX ones, which um, actually give you a little bit more drop down here. Uh, it looks like these might be the standard ones that come with the standard uh, YD2 kit. So you can upgrade these. They're like $8. It's really cheap to where it actually drops down a little bit further and just gives you a little bit more suspension travel, a little bit more droop. So these um, are what's in bag number nine, along with the small axles, of course, that you mount everything to. Looks like uh, I missed this one bag. This is bag number four, but this is uh, one of the biggest changes in this model uh, that allows the transmission to sit underneath um, the motor. So the motor's gonna be mounted right up here. The motor's right here. And this transmission sits underneath the, uh, the motor. So that's gonna keep the weight up higher. And it, as you guys know, a higher weight with the drift cars allows a little bit more weight shift and that's adjustable and this looks like a really well made okay let's take a look at bag number 10 here and these are the big bore shocks um, these are the upgraded shocks uh, if you get the standard yd2 it's going to come with plastic shock these are the aluminum big bore shocks everybody runs these i do have a suggestion if you do buy the um kit with the these type of, of shocks there's a blue o-ring as you guys can see this is a clear o-ring by the upgraded blue o-rings they have less stiction and they make your shocks feel buttery buttery smooth it's like a two or three dollar upgrade it's a real easy upgrade that gives you a lot of performance now i don't know what type of springs these are actually i do so these are the green and pink springs these are the standard weight springs for all the yd2 kits all right bag number 11 here um this is the rear diffuser 
and the short and the long, uh, the, the narrow and the wide. So I'm not going to take these out of the bag. This is pretty self-explanatory. It goes, this mounts in the back of the car, allows your car some protection in the rear. Here are your body pins and some more mounting hardware for the diffusers. This is the standard body post kit that comes with the YD2s. So I'm not going to take this out of the bag. It's pretty self-explanatory. These are also the bumper mounts right here that allow you to mount your foam bumper here as well. So let's take this aside. Just to let you know, guys know, bag 12 here, uh, some zip ties. <laughs> this is the rear shock mount. And I wanted to show you that, guys uh, the close up of this because it's it really, really impressive. Now take a look at the beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber on this rear mount. Now look at all the mounting holes that you have for this. Double on top here and look at the amount of, of mounting holes right here. Really, really cool. We got some nice thick carbon fiber. This is really lightweight, so this is going to be ultra stiff. I mean, you cannot flex carbon fiber as you guys know. This is a really nice touch uh, for this kit. I'm really happy that they included it. And speaking of works of beauty, guys, check this out. This is a wonderful looking chassis. Look at all the countersunk screw mounting points for the batteries, the transmission. Really, really nice looking chassis. It is gorgeous it's got kind of this matte finish to it which is really really nice here's the side of the carbon fiber here anyway this is the main chassis this is kind of the main portion of this this uh chassis and it is so stiff i mean i cannot even flex this really really cool okay that is the last piece here they have an, an addendum here where you're putting this uh uh, front bulkhead piece underneath this back arm. So uh, pay attention to that as well. They give you an antenna mast as well. And here's the part number for those um, for those blue O-rings that I was telling you. It's part number 380 and this you get enough to do two sets of shocks which is really nice. Now what kit isn't complete without a sweet set of stickers? This is the YD2S. If only you'll only have this if you have the S version. You've got some white Pretty cool looking stickers here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in the box. Now along with your kit, guys, this is a setup sheet of from Takahiro Kawakami. Uh, I don't know who that is, but um, they allow you to see what the professionals are using, what, what their setup is, and uh, so it shows you all the mounting positions of all the shocks, what angle they're at, what caster angle what um, shock oil that they're using 200 300 so this is a, a great way of taking a setup from a pro putting it onto your car so you can have a fairly well drifting car right out of the bat off the bat so that's really really cool so i'm going to set this aside here of course your um, kit is going to come with a full parts list this is just the parts list it's pretty boring i'm just going to put that aside so that's pretty much it guys this is the instruction sheet what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip through each page. If you guys wanted to pause on any of the pages, you can. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea for what comes in this kit. Standard steering setup for the YD2. And here's the differential uh, build portion, which I was mentioning before that it's already built for you in this kit. Which is pretty cool. Here's the new transmission setup right here. bolting the transmission and motor plate together and putting your pinion on and talking about how to adjust everything. Here's the servo saver setup. Like I said, most guys do not use a servo saver. Uh, here's the front bulkhead assembly. Gives you some of the lengths and everything that you need. This is front shock tower, which is the nice metal one. It's gonna go on to upper A-arms here. Here's the front A-arms and how to install them. And here is the uh, installation of the front knuckles. Uh, I would always recommend when you put these dog, if, even though, though these are already made for you, you take out the, uh, the grub screw here and put a little bit of Loctite on it because you don't want those coming apart. That's what I did on my original YD2 and I've had zero problems with them up to date. So here is the rear Installation of the rear A arms and the dog bones, drive shafts if you want to call them. Building of the shocks, it's all pretty standard. And here's installation of the shocks. All right, this here's the front bumper and mounting holes, mounting posts for the body and the rear diffuser. Really, really simple, easy stuff here. We're talking about placing the antenna and where to place your battery, all these cool things. How to set up your wheels. This kit doesn't come with wheels, so you don't have to worry about that really. 
different uh, battery mounting ideas, I see. Let's see, and this is uh, an another setup sheet, so you can kind of keep notes on what your car is doing as far as um, setup, which is really nice to have uh, because once you get a good setup, if you change something and it goes bad, you have the sheet to go back to and, and uh, set everything up. Here's an like exploded diagram. Here is some gear ratio information here and some, some notes. Well, all right, guys, that's the end of the YD2S unboxing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. I'm gonna have a full build video of this coming up very soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. See ya, bye.